Hi, the beautiful water flow animation in PowerPoint you're going to learn today looks like this. As you can see here, this is a continuous stream of water flow. You can use this flow to represent a lot of ideas. For example, if you want to represent this merely as water, then you can show concepts like conserve water. And if you want to take the same idea to the next level, you can show it like this. Can you see here the water level is dynamic here with ebbs and flows. It is this same element which has been turned by 90 degrees. So it is horizontal and we have made it on top of a rectangular surface to create this. And if you want this flow to be represented as a concept, then you can show a concept like four sources of income. Here we have a funnel and here is the collection reservoir. On a click, we show the first income source like this, the second one, the third one and the fourth one. And once we have shown all these income sources, we can click and show the final result like this. And if you see this thick flow is actually nothing but a collection of these individual elements. And the final representation is here. Can you see this is a cup where the smoke is represented by nothing but the same water flow that we have shown here. So you can use the same graphic element in multiple ways to explain multiple concepts and take your presentations to the next level. So let us learn how to use this beautiful and versatile water flow animation in PowerPoint. I got this idea of water flow while watching some random video on what is a mole, which is a chemistry class explanation. When I saw this video, it showed like this. Can you see here? We have this water flow represented pretty nicely. Now we'll try and replicate this flow with nothing but PowerPoint. It is surprisingly easy to create this effect and you'll be amazed at how simple it is when I show you how it is done. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. First, let us go to AutoShapes Gallery. From lines, let us pick up this one called as the Curve Tool and let us draw a flow of water in whichever way you want. For example, I'm going to click here, just click again, click again, click again, make sure that it is nothing but a simple stream, that's it. So this is one side, just go a little to the right, click again, click again. You just try and be as organic as possible. There is no rule as to this is the shape it needs to be in. Now we're going to have the top and bottom portions properly cropped. So for that, we need to go to Auto Shapes Gallery once again, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like so. You can see that the top and the bottom are protruding away from this rectangle. So let us select the shape at the back first, hold the shift button down and then select this rectangle and then go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape intersect. Now you can see that we have a proper cutting of the top and the bottom portions done. This is the first step. Let us go here, go to shape outline and say no outline. And typically the color of water is much lighter than this slightly darker blue color. So let us go to shape fill and I'm going to use this color called aqua accent 5 lighter 40%. Let us right click and duplicate this slide. At this point, I'm going to right click and go to edit points and I'm just going to play with these various points here. I'm just going to change the shape a little bit to the left and I'm not really doing too much of it. You can see just a little bit of variation and that is where the magic is. And I'm doing this for pretty much all the points that I had done before. Now this is the next representation of the stream. Let us right click duplicate slide. We're going to do this two more times. Right click duplicate slide. Make sure that the beginning and the end points fairly remain the same because that will ensure that it is easily possible for us to put a tap here and then put some reservoir here and all that stuff. Now we have four of these lights that are all representing different flow states. We are going to select all of these while holding the shift button down. And then let us go to transitions 
and say that the duration of this is 0.1 seconds and then it automatically advances you check this and say this happens for 0.1 seconds now let us go to slide sort of view select everything by pressing ctrl a and then press ctrl c to copy and then select this press ctrl v once twice thrice four times five times so we have got a number of instances of this and everything is going to stay for 0.1 seconds and is automatically going to advance and have a transition of 0.1 seconds so that is what is uh, being done here let us go to the first slide and see how this flow happens in all these automatic transitions so let us go to slideshow can you see here this is how the flow is happening now if you want this to be a bit slow we can always change the element so we can select all the slides by pressing ctrl a by going to this thumbnail view and then we can have this for 0.25 and we can change this to 0.25 and let us see how this one looks right now let us go all the way to the first slide and see the view so this is how the flow happens can you see it is a much more beautiful and slow pattern now this is what i like so let us go to file export and this time we are going to export it as an animated gif so go to create an animated gif have it as extra large and then create gif while keeping the background transparent so you need to check that and then say create gif don't bother about any of the other elements just say create gif and you can keep it somewhere maybe flow of water and i'm going to have it on the desktop and say save and you can see that the format is animated gif format let us say save since this has a transparent background it is much easier for us to work with this now let us go to a new slide let us have this as a blank lay layout and then let us go to insert pictures this device go to desktop and say flow of water gif and say insert can you see this is the flow of water now we can always crop this the way we want now when i go to slideshow you can see that the flow is still maintained and the other areas are cropped let us see how we can use it in multiple ways first let us go to pixabay.com and select vectors and say water tap i wish to use an svg format so let us select this and when i go to free download you can see that i have vector graphic svg available for me to use i can download it i can go to show in folder right click and copy this go back to my presentation and paste it right click convert to shape then let us remove these droplets we don't need them let us select this go to shape outline say no outline press ctrl g to group it reduce the size like so and then you can go to rotate and flip horizontal and place it over here you can see that it is still bigger we can have this reduced to this level now i need to have something connecting from the edge to this so let us go to auto shapes gallery pick up a rectangle tool and this is going to be the pipe that connects to the tap and let us have this as black color shape outline no outline now we need something to collect this water so let us go to auto shapes gallery once again basic shapes and let us use this which is trapezoid shape and let us invert this by going to rotate and say flip vertical then let us make a copy of this by pressing ctrl d and let us keep it over here the first one is going to have no outline and let us increase the transparency by right clicking and by going to format shape fill and then let us increase the transparency like so once again let us go to auto shapes gallery pick up a rectangle tool and then maybe we can place it over here select this trapezoid hold the shift button down select the rectangle again and then go to merge shapes and say shape subtract and then place it over here right on top of it go to shape outline and say no outline and this needs to have the same color as this so let us select this then go to shape fill go to eyedropper tool and then place your eyedropper over here to pick up the color now that is the color maybe we can do the same thing for this one as well then let us select both of them it looks like they are fairly big so maybe we can have this go to align center and place it over here we have a beautiful way of collecting the water the water flow is shown and if you want we can have some kind of a base like this give it a black color go to shape outline no outline 
when I go to slideshow, this is how the graphic looks. On the right hand side, you can write whatever you want. Now, how did I create this effect? Let me show you how it is done. It's a very interesting one. Let us go to right click, new slide, and then I'm going to write water. Now, let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Then let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and let us draw a rectangle around this text. Let us select this text. Then let us have this rectangle sent to back so you can see what I'm doing here. Make sure that both of them are aligned properly by going to Align Center and Align Middle. Then you select this shape here, which is the rectangular shape. Hold the shift button down and then click on the text element. Then once again go to merge shapes and say shape subtract. Then let us select this one. Let us create a duplicate just for good order's sake. And then let us have this in the color of water. Now the color of water is what we have seen here. This is the color of water. I'll show you how exactly to change the color of this GIF as well. It's very simple. For now let us retain this color. Let us select this and then go to font color and then choose this color since we have already picked this color we are using the same sky blue color then let us convert this into a picture for that let me cut right click and use the second option called picture so that converts this into a picture which means i can go to picture format and then crop it to this this level can you see here it is already cropped if you don't convert it into a picture, you cannot crop it. And that's a very important thing because I see this mistake being done over and over again by a lot of people. Excellent. Now let us bring this forward. So right click, bring to front and then place it just above this previous one. Now we need to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then let us rotate this by right 90 degrees. And then let us place this on top of this. Can you see here? It is so beautiful. Now let us right click on this and then bring to front. Now can you see the water beautifully represented? Now this can be in dark color so you can clearly see that the water level is going up and down. And then select this and then place it over here. We don't really need this anymore. We have got the use for it finished. And then let us bring this over here and then place it like so. Now the water is flowing and you can see the level changing. And of course we can bring this by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V and then place it over here. And then maybe you can extend this. Beautiful. So now we have the water flowing and you can see the water level changing. Now how do we change the color of this thing? It's very simple. You can just go here, go to picture format, go to color. And if I want to have it in some other color like this, I can do so. Same way color and I can change this, color, change this. I would be able to create this kind of a concept graphic which represents different sources of income. Now how did I get the smoke effect? It's very simple. I select this, make a copy of this and then let us really put it like this. I can make it much lighter by picking up a lighter color, maybe something like this which is the color of smoke and I can increase the transparency by going to picture format and the transparency effect. I can always go to have some kind of trapezoid shape and then represent that this is nothing but a cup of coffee. I can rotate and say flip vertical, place it underneath and here you have coffee and the smoke shown. Now to give you a 15 second overview of how I think about concepts with animation, let me take a few examples from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, which is a collection of 4,500 animated PowerPoint templates. This is one template I created. Here we have a target board. Then I thought about what can we do with this target board? The usual way of thinking is you have an arrow and that hits the target board. But what if we can think about the concept a little differently? Then I used this one, which showed that this is what is used to hit the bullseye and naturally that's not going to work and many people try to throw money at the problem but it doesn't really work. Then the right approach is this where you have a planned and meticulous approach and that allows you to hit the target. Now this is at the conceptual level. If I want to show the movement how will I do it? Here we have two different ways to achieve the target. 
This is the improper way where you have the incorrect tool and what happens when you use incorrect tool? It just flies away. The right tool really achieves the result. So that is the alternative. When I used this, I realized maybe we can try and take this idea further and I created this template showing that one among the four suggestions hits the target and all the other three miss. So we have the first one introduced. We can talk about it and then on a click you can see that it is not hitting the bullseye and it is failing. And then the second one explain and then it is not hitting. Third one not done. And the fourth one actually hits the target and this is the right option. Can you see it is one graphic which is a target board but multiple ways you can think about visualizing using that one element. That is exactly how I came up with the different ways of using a water flow animation. Visualizing ideas is all about applying creativity. For that you need two things. One is you need to be good with PowerPoint. If you are not, you can always join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program which is a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program. The second thing is you require skill, patience and time to create these kind of animations. If you don't have but still want to use all these kind of creative animations in your PowerPoint presentations, then you can go in for our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0 to make your presentations beautiful and engaging. I will leave a link to both these products in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and come to this page and you can see what this particular product entails and the kind of feedback that people have had and the kind of templates that are available. This is just a small sample of what is available and then you make your own decision. I'll see you in the next video.